Here we are guys, sweating it out in a southern Arizona garage with no air conditioning. Got a little fan going, but that's about it. So I'm out here trying to get my personal bike set up and ready to go for pre-running down in Mexico. It's kind of funny how Right now I only have one bike, so if I'm prepping, I'm not riding, but then again, it's been really hot right now, so just uh, been taking time with family, concentrating on work, and then we'll be uh, back at it here soon in the next week in the week and a half. So right now I have, an exhaust coming from Uncle Wang's shop, his full titanium exhaust that I just have to give him a shout out for sending to me, along with, with one of the pro ECUs. And so I'm gonna be doing a, a full test with his exhaust. I took my personal ECU and sent it back to Cove USA and they put the factory tune that they got from Cove China R rally racing team so that's the the tune that they're sending out when you ask for the full race exhaust tune and so I've confirmed that with Joe Henner and so it'll be good to test that back to back with the factory supplied quote unquote factory race or what should I say? It's the rally pro from the from the factory. There we go. So it's gonna be testing the rally pro ECU tune versus the China or Cove Racing Rally Team tune that Cove USA has been able to acquire. So I'm really excited about getting that exhaust on here and testing out some full race tunes. Although this system has been good, um, it's just generating too much heat in my opinion. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to be looking to do to this personal bike before I go back down to Mexico to make it more race slash pre-run uh, ready. One, I'm going to take off the rack and the bags. I don't need all of that. It's just a bunch of extra weight. I'm not going to be running any fuel in the rear tank unless I need it. I'm going to get a Pepcock for right here. Yeah, there's a fly just relentless. And I'm going to mount it off of right here. I saw Cove USA su suggesting that um, kind of near the beginning. And that will give me the ability of if this tank starts to pressurize, it's just going to pressurize and not just push fuel up through here. And this one-way valve, it's just, it doesn't allow free flow breathing between the two tanks so I'm gonna try just a pepcock here with a serviceable hose clamp um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I am going to run heat shielding on the pipe itself from this section from the head all the way down to right here at the end of the skid plate and then from there back it'll be open so hopefully all the heat will start to generate there and there'll be a little bit of airflow here versus no airflow right in this section and all of this heat just generating and just creating more heat on the exhaust pipe also to combat the heat if you see I do have some reflective tape in here, but I'm also going to have the exhaust shield wrap. But also these 
radiator hoses, I'm also going to wrap those right there and this one that's running directly behind there. And then on the left side of the motor, I'm gonna do reflective tape all down in here. And on the back side of this left fuel tank as well, I'm going to remove the water tank. Not necessary right now. I'm kind of going away from adventure type riding that I had this bike set up for and more just pre-running at the moment. And just in the next couple of months, the cool thing is, is that these bags will stay attached to the rack and I can always just put the rack right back on and put the bags back on if I'm gonna go back adventuring. And the last thing that I'm going to be adjusting on this bike going back down to Mexico is I'm going to first talk to Recluse and ask about what I'm experiencing with this auto clutch and see if putting in some different springs may help that out or if I just want to take it out and put the stock clutch back in because I really enjoyed the stock clutch on the race bike and this auto clutch I'm really having a lot of chatter when the bike is in deep heavy sand or any kind of situation where I may need to slip the clutch and it was kind of concerning out there in the middle of nowhere Baja Mexico when my clutch sounded like it was just going to clutter or clatter itself into a million pieces so I'm interested to get in there and take a look at that and see if it's looking a little roached or if it's still good to go i may just put the stock clutch back in um, because on this cove the auto clutch is not necessary and then i would say probably lastly is that with the suspension i'm going to at least take the forks off and put some fresh fluid in those and depending on resources and uh, logistics possibly send those to somebody to have them work on them but at this point the effort to go to Baja is not cheap so yeah we'll do what we can with what we got and I'm excited to put the Uncle Wang's exhaust on here and have a couple different ECUs to test different tunes and with some different heat shielding, I'm hoping to address the heat buildup in the motor, especially with re removing the water tank. And clutch situation and the uh, fuel over um, boiling slash pressurizing that I need to address. So I'm really hoping to do that. Um, with just getting a pepcock for the rear tank and also I'm also getting I also have the Uncle Wang breathable rear fuel valve so our uh, rear fuel cap so all right guys uh, stay tuned for some more uh, 805x Baja 400 race prep as well as more detailed videos to come on my personal bike prepping for pre-running down in Baja. Let's go get some.